Welcome to Obscure Depths MLB Preview with the Colorado Rockies. Oh, sorry Rockies fans, this team is not very good. They have some great players, but they have absolutely no pitching. I guess we can start right there with the rotation. Um, Jorge De La Rosa missed most of the season last year, came back, put up a nice ERA over nine. I'm going to be the number one starter. Uh, for some reason, they re-signed Jolie Chachin. Uh He was pretty terrible last year in, in, as well. Um, we got Drew Pomeranz as our number three starter. Just a young kid, not much experience. Had a, somewhat of a, some light highlights last year. But, yeah, this team is going to have, have its struggles. Um, Juan DeCasio, um I, you just don't know if he'll ever be the same after that horrific injury he had a couple years ago. Uh, I got Jeff Francis and a young kid named Christian Friedrich fighting for the number five spot. They also got Tyler Chatwood in the fold. Um, I really like this Friedrich kid. I think he's going to be good in like two or three years, but probably not now. He'd probably be best served to maybe spend another year in the minors. Uh, let's go around the infield. Uh, Will. Willen Rosario is the catcher. Surprised a lot of people by hitting 20 home runs last year. Will he do that again next year? Probably not. Um, uh, he's still young, up and coming. I guess we'll see. We'll see what happens. But yeah, I just don't see him doing that again. Uh, third base, they got the Chris Nelson, Johnny Pacheco platoon. That's pretty ugly all 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 around. Um, yeah, Pacheco hit for a nice average last year, but yeah, who and so did so did Nelson, but I mean it's just you need you need twenty home runs out of your third baseman. That's just plain and simple. And yeah, neither one of them are gonna do that. Uh Troy Troy Tulowitzki at short. We know what Tula can do when he's fully healthy. Uh well I guess we'll just we'll have to see how it goes. I mean, he's obviously the one of the big guns on this team, and if he could stay healthy this team could be successful. I just don't see them doing that this year, especially with their lack of depth in pitching. Uh, Josh Rutledge, who filled in for Tula last year while he was hurt, probably going to be their second baseman. They also have Jonathan Herrera to back up all those infield positions. Um, Rutledge, you know, I think he surprised a lot of people with the way he handled himself, you know, and he had had some pretty some pretty good stats for limited time last year. So I. You know, you don't know what he's going to do as a full year, though. That's still up in the air. So, you know, he'll he'll probably get the chance to be their everyday second baseman, and you know, he'll he might do an okay job. I just don't know what what a full season in the majors w was going to do to him until we actually see him experience a full year in the majors. Uh, Todd Helton at first, questionable for the start of spring spring training. Um, I don't know why Helton's still playing. I love this guy. He's one of the greatest hitters of all time, and in my mind, he's probably one of the top 50, 50 greatest hitters of all time. Uh, I just—he just needs to hang it up. Let you know he's—he's he's had his—he's had his moment. The sun. I—I I, I hate for him to see to see him keep going out there and going through this and getting hurt. Um, but anyway, he's not going to hang it up. So he's going to try to be their first baseman. They also got Michael Kod Michael Kadire and Tyler Colvin uh, that can play first. Colvin had a decent year last year, so did so did Kadire. Uh They're also going to be the kind of the platoon and right, along with Eric Young, who's going to be, be backing up all the outfield spots. Um, you know, both of these guys have Kadire and uh, Colvin have 20 home run power. Um, it'll be interesting to see which one which one has the more at bats. You know, they both they both you know if Helton's not healthy, they both could you know easily play 120 games. And uh, both do quite well. I think Colvin's kind of been around enough to where he's next. He's ready to take that next step, and he might be a nice, nice at bat if he's in this nice bat in this lineup if he's in there every day. Uh, Dexter Fowler hit 300 last year. That was maybe one of the surprises of, on this team. Uh, 
He hit right three, right at 300 last year. 13 home runs, 12 stolen bases. You'd like to see those stolen bases be a little, little higher on there because this guy can flat out fly. Uh, but you know that just really depends on their philosophy too going forward. Um, I think Fowler have another decent year. He's still pretty young, but uh, so, so he's his best years are still ahead of him. Um, will he duplicate what he did last year? I don't know. It's going to be a hard. It's going to be a a hard lineup because he's now considered one of the veterans, and they're going to have they're going to be counting on him to do to do things, especially if Tulo isn't healthy. Um, the other big bat in this lineup is Carlos Gonzalez. Uh, great great player. 2020 guy last year. Pretty quietly 2020 20, guy last year. 300 batting average. Uh, he's a little dinged up right now, too. Should be ready for the start of spring training. If he's in the lineup every day, we know what he can do. This kid is powerful, and I think he's actually getting better, which is pretty scary. Um, but I just don't see this team doing a whole lot. That's why I'm picking them to finish fifth in the NL West. Uh, let's go to the bullpen. Rafael Betancourt had a very good year last year for a very bad team. Um, I think he'll probably do much of the same this year. Uh, they got Wilton Lopez, another, who's another young reliever who could possibly close if Betancourt is traded. Um, I like what he brings to the table. He's got good stuff. He's a he's a good strong kid too. Uh, Rex Brothers, another up and coming guy in this bullpen, had some very very good success last year, striking out 83 batters in 67 innings. So I I think I think their bullpen has got some some decent options there. I just don't see a lot of depth in their starting pitching, and that's why I'm picking this team to finish fifth in the division. Sorry, Rockies fans. It's going to be another long season, um, but this has been MLB Obscure Depths Obscure Depths MLB preview, the Colorado Rockies. Uh, I'd like to send a shout out to my number one fan, Braves1025. I love you, man. Thank you for your encouragement. Appreciate it. Have a good day.